uh, this. Um, let's kind of get started for, to, for for showing you guys a little bit around this game a little bit. I know I probably showed it to you guys the other day. But I wanted to actually let you guys know that there is actually a few things you guys can do in this game that I didn't realize this. If you hit, if you're on a PS5 and you hit the options button, you can bring up your tab for like your social menus and stuff. And then you can edit your calling card through here. Like, I have Stay Frosty, but there's Blue Dragon, um, Chopper Down, Don't Punch Up, First Taste, High Ground. Um, and then you also have like your victories stuff. I don't know if that'll ever show up. But then you also can bring in your social and invite your friends to play who play Call of Duty Call of Duty so you can do that through there um, you can set your private to the lobby your whispers are under that too you'll have your notifications through here to display um, you can change your quick settings in here um, these are all the general quick settings that you can do um, I don't have I don't change much of anything here except I did turn down um, the graphics. I turned off depth of. I've turned. I kept depth of field on, but I've turned off the film grain. I've turned off the motion blur. I don't think that's even genuinely needed. Um, and then I turned the field of view. I've kept it at 80 for field of view. Um, only because uh, of that but I think let's go let's go for 100 field of view and see if I like that more um, and then we'll try that because I've been wanting to get into that um not only can you do the graphics you can also mess with your audio interface um, the interface, I don't really mess with that. Minimap rotation. Um, I could turn that off. I usually... That. But the other thing that I don't think I... I'm not going to go to Counting Network. I'll do that later when I'm uh, there. Because that's something that you don't need to talk about a lot. Um, so... When you get into the game, you'll have Search and Destroy, Prisoner's Rescue, and Knockout. Prisoner Search and Destroy is a new one. These two, not a big fan of Prisoner Rescue, not a big fan of Knockout. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of Search and Destroy, but we're going to do... We're just going to do Resonantly um, Team Deathmatch. There is Domination here as well. So if you guys want to play that, you guys can do that here as well. Um, but you guys will be able to have access tomorrow, playing on PlayStation four and five tomorrow um for everybody so if you guys want to join in on the fun um you guys can do that as well uh i also will be accepting anybody who wants to join in now will also be a good good aesthetic way of getting be able to get in today so um i typically will tell you um i don't typically live stream right after tech talk or right after somebody else's stream that i really enjoy i just because I just gave you guys, you know, I don't need to uh, try to do a lot of things like that. I don't. I just genuinely will play whenever I feel like it. I'll genuinely play it late at night. I always play Monday through Friday um, from about 2 to 5 every day. Um, and then Fridays, whenever I get off from traditional work from about 1.30 till about 4 in the morning. Yesterday, I only was live streaming for an hour. And I normally don't sit there and take that. Um, live in any way shape or form um, then I also not only that but I also did um, a few of those things today um, I yesterday I showed you guys um, the chord progression and stuff on the on stuff like that uh, and it's just one of those things that you know Call of Duty is always a great game I don't care a lot about Activision Blizzard. I play this game for the sheer um, for the sheer 
thing that I always will play this game because I want to play it. Not because, um... Not because, yes, people are gonna hate that what's going on with Activision right now. But we also got how many people are in Activision that, you know, they're not... That need a job, that are forced to be here, that need to have to have a job, and they can't leave because of what even what's going on. They can't always leave. And so... And so we can't always focus our attention always on Call of Duty, on Activision itself. Activision Blizzard, I hope Activision just stays put where it's at right now. Um, So yeah, so we can't we can't just always rely on everything, you know. Look, I actually am gonna tell you guys I am going to tell you that I typically um, as me currently building a PC myself, um, you know, going through and I, I'm thankful that I usually I don't pick a brand just because I've just my first time building a PC. I actually did kind of decide to pick a brand. I decided to go with AMD because. I've been seeing a lot of good things from AMD for gaming, and I don't need I don't need to buy everything. I'm just I'm just happy that I'm able to get a PC because I really don't care for you know a lot of you guys are probably gonna wonder why why did I pick AMD for my well well it's not because I picked AMD just to pick AMD it's just because. I just chose that, you know, I want to be able to um, do a lot of video editing content and stuff, and I see a lot of that is, is a lot of it is just nice to see content from AMD and Intel. Like, I would totally go build an Intel system too. You know, I'm not gonna say I'm fanboy of everything, because I have an Xbox, I have a, I have a PlayStation. I have, I used to use a Mac. I don't like Macs because just generally I want to be able to have that upgradeability. I want to be able to be able to do a lot of that. And with a lot of things that, you know, going on, you know, AVGA is leaving NVIDIA. AVGA is out of the, getting out of the GPU market space. I'm not going to go into too much of those details, guys. I'm just saying, you know... Um, you guys can go look out at Jay's Two Cents, Gamers Nexus, stuff. They they do pretty much better detail than I probably than I probably could. And so I would recommend you guys go check them out. Um, and make sure that you guys are checking them out a lot of time. In any way, uh, it's not it's not like I'm hiding myself or or anything. And you can't you can't just always rely on you can't just can't rely on a company. But I will be telling you I will be I'll buying EVJ for their power supplies. Power supplies. I will probably go with EVJ on their motherboards if I can get one. I might just go full EVJ on that portion, but I want to go with full AMD, and I gotta make sure that it has Wi-Fi capabilities on it. And I still haven't. I still genuinely haven't picked a a motherboard yet, truly, because I've been kind of debating: do I go with the two two hundred and eight dollar dollar one, or do I just go with the cheaper motherboard? Because because I choose to. It's not it's not like I am forcefully any PC part's going to be decent to use. It's just whether or not can I save. The, uh, get access to it, you know, I'm not gonna and, and look Nosebreaker buddy please nosebreaker You know and also if you're watching Watching later in the week um, this actually uh, later in the week this happened actually last week um, because 
uh, the kind of things that just generally happen. And you can't, you guys can't always rely on everybody. You can't rely on everything because relying on Call of Duty or relying on on stuff like that. You can't you can't just sit there and say I'm gonna be in the area. Uh, I'm gonna be with I'm gonna play always play Call of Duty. Well, you shouldn't always sit there and play Call of Duty. You shouldn't always always say I'm gonna be Anything I'm gonna buy be EVJ all the time, every time, no matter how horrible it is. The only reason why I bought PlayStation Five was because of how because of my friends. And I do genuinely won't. I genuinely don't hide myself from priding myself in. You know, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna buy a system because of friends. I bought a PS4 because it was cheap. You know. No, I just bought. I just bought a PS5 off of a guy off of YouTube, off of Facebook Marketplace in town. And yeah, the system works just fine. The disc drive was a little horrible. But you know, I didn't care because I wanted to be able to play games. Was I was am I gonna be able to do I pride myself in having physical goods? No, not really. Um I bought I bought, every time I've bought Call of Duty, I've always bought the digital deluxe edition or the digital premium edition. I bought it for uh Call of I bought it for Active uh, Cold War. I bought it for Vanguard. I bought. I even bought it for Modern Warfare Two. You know, and, I, and I'm pretty sure I probably didn't buy it for Modern Warfare, but that was only because I didn't really. And then really, and I don't have. And to be honest with you guys, I stopped buying physical video games to the extent, except for the Switch. Because if I if I'm going to take a game on if I'm going to take a system on the go I'm going to buy it physically more than digitally. Just because of that. Friendly UAV online. Oh, and I'm kind of eating a little bit of some raviolis here, kind of while I'm playing uh, and talking. I kind of usually don't eat on stream, but I, it's about the time that, you know, I was kind of going to eat and then get on, get to streaming after Barnacles, after a uh, tech talk today, but I just didn't, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to bash anybody. I love, I love those guys. How are you? Are you And my dog wants my food. Which, to be honest with you, I, I love this game. Uh, if you guys haven't picked it, if you guys haven't thought about picking it up, I would highly recommend you do pick it up. And if you happen to digitally pre-order the game, and remember guys, if you guys want to play this, you guys can get it on beautiful PC from Activision Blizzard. Place. Um, you can also get it through Steam on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. I'm pretty sure the only reason why they're doing it probably on Steam is so you can play it on the Steam Deck. Which, to be honest with you, that's actually a great thing that we're able to see Call of Duty come around. And see a lot of it. Show up, and I'm pretty sure it'll probably be eventually if it goes through probably on Microsoft Store. So you know, I'm, I'm always gonna be there and saying I'm always like I was like Call of Duty. I will always play Call of Duty, not because not because of Activision, not because of what's going on with them. It's just because I love this game from the day since Modern Warfare came out, pretty much. I played every single Call of Duty to date. I will always sit here and play it. It will be always something I will enjoy. Um, guys, I've been trying to find the new map, finding the map that I played last night, and I haven't been able to find that in a way. And so 
I, I want to be able to play the other map, not the... What is Lamas? There's just four maps that I've seen, and I haven't been able to get the fourth map. Um, so you guys are probably seeing some of the recycled content from Call of Duty, but... But, you know, it's not, it's not like trivial when, when you buy something, guys, don't sit there and buy, call it, buy a game, just because you're... You know, yeah, there's bad Call of Duties, and I'll admit, I don't like a lot of the World War II stuff. World War Vanguard was the only one that kind of, I liked a little bit. Vanguard was number, is the, if I had to rank all the World War II games all solely without ranking any of the other ones, then guard would be number one on the list. To be honest with you. And it's just it's just the way that it goes, you know? We can't always rely on saying, hey, we have Call of Duty, we have the aforementioned things. We can't we can't always say Our UAV is orbiting the area. No, oh, come on. I'm wondering if we're in... Well, let's see... We've lost the lead. And, you know... For any of you who don't know, um, if you hit up on the D-pad on PlayStation... Um, you should be able to have access to pinging system. Remember guys, this weekend, it's only up to level 15, next weekend, uh, if you guys are watching this later, this fight won't pertain to you. Coming up this weekend, coming weekend, uh, the, you will get up to 15, up to level 15, um, and it will be actually 30 for everybody else, to be honest with you. So, I'm just saying that Call of Duty is definitely a great game, Modern Warfare 2, is one of those things um i just hope that the campaign's actually decent enough um i usually don't play a lot of i don't play a lot of campaign i stopped playing cold wars campaign because i didn't really like it it never really enticed me to continue to keep playing vanguard i never touched the campaign because it's just not the campaign's not my favorite thing you know Incoming. Hostile UAV in the area. There are still some bugs in here though guys. Um, I noticed yesterday when I was playing yesterday, I noticed that uh, that something doesn't quite oh it's not perfect guys. No gate nothing will ever be perfect. I, I always contribute to Hostile things. SAE near your position. Good, so... I tried to get him, but it didn't work. So yeah, I, I'm gonna say like... Like, I genuinely, this game, the UI is the only thing that I have a little bit of concern with. But, I can live past the UI, UI stuff, because it's, you know, it, it's about how, how well is the gameplay, how well is the graphics a little bit. I do take the graphics a little bit into consideration when I play games. I don't take graphics, I take graphics a small minute time in Call of Duty, or whatever. If there's graphical glitches in the game, I'm not gonna care. I'm gonna care. 
I should say. If there is no graphical glitches, and the game looks like 16-bit graphics from from like Final Fantasy like two or one or whatever, from old-time Final Final Fantasy or old Mario graphics, I'm not gonna care. Okay. I genuinely don't. Um, but before I do um, end the end this video here. Um, for the beautiful YouTubes. Um, remember, if you're watching this, I will be releasing this out on Wednesday, on Tuesday, on t t today. I always release this out on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this, and Friday this week will all be, um, will all be Call of Duty content this week for YouTube. I said that yesterday in yesterday's video. Um, as soon as I find the new map, I'm going to make sure I record that live. Um, make sure you guys know that remember if you guys are enjoying yourselves remember hit that beautiful subscribe hit that beautiful like button um, Guys, I got to do one thing before I am continue on with the stream um, But before I do um, I got to go do a gotta go get my dog fed um, So I will be right back because um, it is five o'clock and we will see you guys back here in a um, in a few minutes